G'day Internet, welcome back to another video. So if you remember a while back, we stuck an LCD screen into my Lynx 2 and it went really well. Well, Ben Venn has been poking around the uh, Atari Lynx scene again and has come up with something new, a flash card. And I've been lucky enough to be sent an early prototype. So let's take a look at it. So this is what I received from Ben, uh, remembering that this is an early prototype. Uh, and if we open it up, here it is. Now, like I said, early prototype. This is a 3D printed uh, case. Uh, the actual ones are going to come in injected mould uh, covers. But because it is like that, we can carefully remove the PCB from here and take a squeeze inside. And here it is. Uh, we have a nice proper click in, click out uh, micro SD reader, which I'm a fan of. Um, there's 512K of SRAM on board. Uh, I believe this is a tiny little ARM processor um, and some accompanying uh, logic chips and so on and so forth. So that's kind of it. I mean, it's a flash card. There isn't huge amounts to it. Uh, so let's get this back into here. And all you need is a micro SD card, which I have one here. Now, this is a 16 gig one, which is massive overkill because the entire ROM collection from a for a Lynx is only I think a few hundred meg, if that. Um, but when I went down to JB Hi-Fi to get myself a fresh SD card, it turns out 16 gig is about the smallest you can buy now. But that simply goes in there, and all you have to do is there's a boot.bin file which goes on there, which I believe handles the menu system, uh, and then just ROMs in LNX format. So that simply goes in here, and we turn it on, and we get our menu. Now, um, Ben has got this to the point where it works. Uh, there is nothing fancy about it whatsoever, um, but we can show that it works. And one of the big things he's put a lot of work into is um, getting the load times right down from basically where it transfers the ROM into the SRAM. And if I hit go, that is less than a second. And that's really impressive for a flash card. So that is a regular ROM uh, and I've tested a bunch and they all work. Um, and if, but the thing about having a flash card isn't just a case of being able to carry around your entire collection on one cart, it's also homebrew. So I went poking around and I found some, uh, and one that really did impress me was a basically a port of Wolfenstein. This is called Lutchenstein, although I feel like writing the, to the developer and getting it renamed as Lurchenstein, because that would be kind of cool. And this is a rebuild of Wolfenstein on the Atari Lynx, and it plays really well. I'm actually really impressed with this. Um, so that's a really cool one. Another one I found was uh, a really simple, um, uh, just vertical shooter called Sky Raider. I thought this was kind of neat. And so yeah, there is a bunch of really good homebrew available for the Lynx. I'm not that familiar with a homebrew on the Atari Lynx, but I know someone who is, and that would be Atari Gamer. So let's have a quick chat to him. So 
welcome Atari Gamer to the channel. Um, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Not a problem. Okay, so I've been chatting to Ben and he tells me that you're going to be working on the new front end for this uh, flash cart. Um, obviously, there's a basic menu there at the moment, but that's about it. Um, anything in particular you're looking to, to do with it? Um, so I actually had a chat about this to Ben this morning again, and he's saying, don't commit. <laughs> oh, okay. but, um, obviously, you've seen the front end I've written for the Lynx SD cards. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably going to not do anything like that for this one. Uh, it will retain some of the features like uh, last ROM loading, uh, preferences and all of that. Um, but I think the focus here is going to be more on, on speed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I've on me chatting to Ben, I know that's where he's put most of his work into this flash card is those load times. Um, yeah. I mean, I think he's got it down to nearly a second and for uh, the average flash card, that's actually pretty impressive. It is. Um, yeah. So I'm actually thinking the first version of the load I'll make will be fairly basic. Um, but then I had this grand vision of having a loader that uh, looks like one of it kind of like a Netflix thing where you could scroll through and that would be cool. But that's like, you know, the grand vision, if it will ever happen, I don't know. Okay. So like with thumbnails and things like that. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of cool. Um, now you've obviously known Ben for a while, the same as me. Is this, how did you get involved with this? Is this something you kind of put your hand up and went, Hey, I've got an idea or what? <laughs> um, almost, a year ago, I've actually written an article on Atari Gamer on my website uh, talking about various Lynx SD uh, cards, various other flash cards. And then I had a wish list at the bottom of what the, the best card in my eyes would be. And I presented that to Ben. He liked the idea. Uh, we kind of talked about it on and off. And then about a month or two ago, he kind of said, okay, I'm building it. So we went from there. Cool. Righto. Um, like I've had a very quick play with the prototype that I've got, and I believe you've actually got one on the way. Yep. Um, so, I mean, it works. There's no arguments with about with that. Um, but one thing I did actually really find was, I mean, obviously it's one thing to be able to get a whole bunch of ROMs and dump it on a card and off you go. But I personally didn't really realize um, how many really good homebrews there are out there. And that's really, I think, when it comes to flash carts, the thing that people tend to forget about is it's a, it's a way of checking out these homebrews. I mean, obviously, yep. there's a lot that are kind of, you know, half done and, um, and things like that. But there's some really good ones there. Um, so... Speaking of, is there anything kind of new or exciting in the Lynx homebrew or for the Lynx in general that's that's coming up? Well, definitely. Um, you probably know that I'm hosting another programming contest this year. I uh, didn't, but I okay, got cool. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, last year's contest was very successful and we had about 11 entries. Not all of them were completed games, but some of them were really actually good games and uh, a handful of them are being published this year by Songbird Productions. Um, and this year we're running another contest, a bit more organized, uh, collaborating with Retro HQ, uh, Mark Space and Atari Age. So we've got, at the moment, we've got about 20 people who joined the contest. Okay. So really looking forward to that. Um, and another thing that I'm working on like as a personal kind of project is the English language translation for an Atari Lynx that's coming out called Unnamed. Um, and this is a follow-up game from another one that came out a few years ago called Unseen. Yep. Uh, it was a text, graphical text adventure. This one's a little bit more interactive, but essentially still an adventure game. Okay, cool. So it's called, it's not called Unnamed because it doesn't have a title. It's called Unnamed because it's a carry on from the previous game. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Well, I guess 
best of luck with the the competition that's coming up this year. Um, I know that because the last one was the thirtieth anniversary. That's the reason it was so big, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well. Um, best of luck with the uh, with the thirty first anniversary <laughs> um, uh, programming competition, um, and it looks like the Atari Lynx is uh, is picking up speed. So, and I think a lot of that Definitely. goes to you and um, and people on Atari Age. So, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Nice and chatting. Thanks for being on the channel. Oh, my pleasure. Bye. So that's kind of it. That is the new Atari Lynx flashcard coming from Ben Venn. And I can honestly say that he's put a hell of a lot of work into this. Um, the load times alone show that, and the fact that it's got EEPROM on board for all the save game features, that's just brilliant. So I'm really happy to have it for my Atari Lynx, even if this is just the early prototype. Um, the word from Ben is that he'll be uh, putting these up for about $45 uh, US, um, which is really, really good price-wise. Um, and I think he's onto a winner. Um, thanks again to Atari Gamer for join joining me in uh, this episode. I'll put links to both his website and all the stuff that he spoke about down in the description below. Uh, and if you like this video, if you click like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.